Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a video about why the UK sucks today. Number one is the UK living crisis has gone up rapidly. Loads of people are becoming homeless because they can't afford to live because of the really high up um, living costs. Heating, gas, electrics have all gone up rapidly. Number two, the second reason is the biggest mistake the UK has ever made, leaving the EU. Brexit was the biggest mistake that the UK has probably ever made, if I'm honest. Well, certainly in my time anyway. Now, the EU was for people who didn't want Muslims or refugees to enter the country and many other reasons that maybe I can't name or I can't even think of. But the main thing that I remember is it's to stop Muslims coming in and taking our jobs, which I don't really agree with because I wasn't born here and I live here and that's kind of racist, let's be honest. And 48% of people decided to stay in and 52% wanted to leave, which is really... And even the people who left, right, they actually feel so bad that they even made that mistake. They're like, oh, I wish we stayed in now. But now we're absolutely fucked. Now, the third thing is, and I, I know probably quite a number of people who might watch this video might not agree with this, but this is my opinion, right? I don't believe that the UK should have a monarchy. I believe that it should be, be run by a presidency, not a monarchy. You know, funny thing is, the monarchy, the king, doesn't really have any control. It's, the, it's controlled by the government. He's more like a figurehead, you know what I mean? Who's just kind of there. The country is more run by the government, which the government is really in big crisis right now. But yeah, I don't believe that there should be a monarchy. And by the way, on the coronation, they spent, get this, a hundred million pounds on a guy just getting, get the crown on his head. Think how many homeless people in Glasgow, London, Manchester, Birmingham could have done with that. Think how many new houses could be built for people who don't have anything. You know what I mean? Oh, so that's why I think that communism would be quite good, in my own opinion. I'm just saying. I might do that in another video. But, yeah, monarchy, nah. Now, number four. This is not so much political. Well, it's not actually political at all. Next thing is London. Now, don't get me wrong. London does have some really nice landmarks and sites like Big Ben. I actually was there last year. But something I realised, right, is you have to pay for absolutely everything. You don't get any, like, discounts or anything. Like, up here, I've got, like, a Young Scott card, which I get free bus travel. And uh, my Young Scott card gives me a discount on the train. But rather than that, is London is mainly you have to take trains everywhere. It's not like you or buses. It's not like you can just walk. You know what I mean? And every time you do that, you might not realize it, but it's actually costing you money. Yeah, every time, and that's how they're electric eating all the profits. But yeah, but if they had, if they maybe didn't charge people for doing that or made less of them, less of them, you know then it wouldn't be so bad. But luckily I live in Scotland, so I don't have to worry. Scotland's way better. Sorry, England. And now number five, the last and final thing I want to talk about is also prices going up, but not on cost of living this time. This is about stuff in the shops, mainly sweets, but not only sweets, pasta and like. But like, when I went to a shop, right, not that long ago, I realised that Haribo bags, Haribo, cost £1.25 now. And Maynard's Fizzy Fish, one pound, one pound 25. It's just like, I used to go in there with literally a pound coin. It's like, just so easy, you know what I mean? A pound coin, you give them a pound, you get the pack of Harry Bows and then you're out of there. You know what I mean? But one twenty five. I'm not even kidding, the Freddos, don't get me started on them. I'm pretty sure they're like 40p now, or 25, I think they're like 40p. Did you know Freddo's were once five pence? I'm not even kidding. Back in the day, they were once five pence. But because of all this cost of 
products and things have gone up. That's also due to leaving the EU. Everything is more expensive now, which actually honestly sucks. And I would love it if the prices dropped. Like if Harry Bull bags, you don't even think it's about Harry Bull bags. <laughs> you, you don't even get that many Harry Bulls in them. And it's 125. 125. You don't even, and for a little chocolate like that, 40p. 40p, and it used to be 5p. I don't even get me started on like cigarettes as well. Bloody like 14 pounds now. Back in the old oh, so days, another thing, back in the day, packet of cigarettes used to be 20 pence. I'm not even kidding. Well, that was back in like 80s, probably 70s, 80s, something like that. We're like 20 pence for 20 pack. And now they've gone all the way up to like 14 pounds. Are you joking? But I don't really buy them anymore, so. But you can always get the under the, under the, under the counter ones, like five pounds. There we go, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's okay if you guys disagree. It's totally your opinion. It's like my opinion. We all have different opinions. It's okay if you disagree with my points. But maybe some of them you agree on. But let me know what ones you agree on. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I might do some more of these wee videos about different, different things, current events going on. Because why not? Add some more to my channel. But please subscribe. Put the notifications on. And please leave a like, keep being awesome.